morning guys welcome back to another vlog it is a rainy saturday today but thought we would make the most of this weekend it's going to be raining all weekend i think but i still want to do a bunch of spring things so actually going to go to the farmer's market shortly and we're going to visit an antique vintage market my entire tiktok is like nancy mayer vibes and I'm loving it. I'm like, why is my house so white and new? I need to like add some like trinkets and stuff. So we're gonna see what we could find there. I've been there a couple of times. So we're gonna go see if they have anything good this time around. And then tomorrow I wanna do some baking. I wanna get back into my bread making. So gonna do that. And lastly tomorrow, I wanna tackle organizing the pantry because I bought like the baskets and stuff for it last year i believe it was but i feel like it's just like an organized mess so i really want to go through it and i need a couple more baskets so i'm thinking maybe we stop at home since again today just to pick up a few more baskets i need so yeah busy weekend ahead of us but i thought i would take you guys along of course i've been sick these last couple of days it was my birthday and then i literally got sick right after just like a cold nothing too much but like you know when you're just like not feeling yourself and then the weather isn't the greatest i was like get me out of the slump and even though it's raining today it's fine we like i said are gonna make the best of this weekend and yeah see what we can find i'm literally like i need to even visit my grandma's house see what she has there because i'm sure she has great vintage pieces so i'm thinking when i visit her on mother's day i'm gonna keep my eye out on some decor pieces that she has we have mr Bobby. he's like don't leave me i will be back in the afternoon took him on a quick walk already good thing the rain stopped so we were able to get out okay so let me finish up my coffee and we are going to head on out to the markets <laughs> This bowl is, it's 58 bucks. So pretty. Pretty coasters. The prettiest wooden bowl for three sixty-five. So pretty, and then this wooden bench. Cute little bowl find. George is gonna pick that up for her counter. I love that. Good find. Love it. Okay, I just got to home since to look for baskets, and I think I'm gonna pick these ones up. I'm thinking I can use them for the pantry and then after if i want to put them in my laundry room i think they're really cute i'm getting like a bigger size and then a smaller one inside so let's go check out just got back home and i want to share my favorite find of the day which is this vintage horse belt buckle which was only 10 bucks what a good find and i'm so excited i just need to find like the leather belt to like use it with so i'm gonna look online but i thought that was so cute and it literally just caught my eye i was like i need it so i picked that up and for 10 bucks how can you go wrong so that was my favorite find and then i picked up baskets i literally found no home stuff there was like a wooden board which was really cute but 
I was like, it could wait. I was thinking more like little trinkets if I found, but literally I did not find them. They had a bunch of cute stuff, but nothing that I was looking for. Lots of like ceramics, plates and cups and stuff, which I want to get for my grandma's house before I like go out and buy it. I feel like it would have better sentimental value if I got it for my grandma's house. So I want to check that out first before I like go and buy a cute little coffee mug. Still nice to browse. Um, my neighbor picked up that wooden bowl, which I showed. And again, just to get like inspo, it was really fun and a good day out. And I got home and I decided that I wanted to go through my drawer to see what kind of clothes I had for like the springtime and everything. Because now all the spring clothes are coming out. And before I, you know, hop online and like buy things, I want to see what I have. So I'm not like, you know, buying things that I don't need or maybe I have a similar version of. And like, I feel like I don't remember half the stuff I bought or had from last year. So gonna go through that and organize it quickly. If there's something that like I don't want, I'll either give it to my cousin or donate it. We'll see and that way I could have a better idea of what I still need to purchase for the spring. So this is what I'm working with. I kind of just threw everything out from the drawers. This is mostly just like t-shirts and tanks that I don't hang up in my closet. I just have in my drawer. So let's go through it. It's just like tank tops and stuff. Some more like casual tank tops I'll put in one spot. Me too. I have like long, I have cropped. One of each, okay? I am not buying any more casual tank tops, so I'm glad I went through this or I probably would have. Also, I just picked up these Amazon like plaid boxer shorts that are like all the rave right now, um, all over TikTok, and I thought these would be so cute. And they actually fit so nice. And from Amazon, it says like, they're just like in trend now. I doubt they'll be in trend next summer. So I was not trying to spend money on them. So like, that could be an Amazon buy. Okay, so I kind of grouped everything in two piles and basically realized I have enough basic tank tops. Don't need any more of those. Um, just regular t-shirts, graphic tees. Um, but yeah, I'm realizing I need more like dressy tops to go out with. Like I love this top. Um, if you can even like see how to wear it, but like, you know, it goes on the shoulder. I feel like I need just like more shirts like these. So dress your options rather than just like plain casual, which I feel like I always go for the more casual and comfy route. But now that I put all my things out, I realize that, yeah, when I'm shopping to keep in mind going for like dress your options that I could dress down or up. But I'm glad I have a good idea in terms of like basics and tops I have. So I'm going to put those back in my drawer. So we decided to come, what time was it? 10.15. 10.15, drove 25 minutes to get some Dairy Queen and we're trying the viral, what is it? Confetti? Confetti cake. Confetti cake ice cream. Oh, it looks so good. Do you lick it or bite it? Mm -hmm. <laughs> you went to bite it? Okay. It's ripped all over. Mm, it's good though. Mm. That's really good. It's hard to, how are you eating it so fast? Yummy yeah, in my tummy. Mm. Best decision we made all day. Thank God I will run. Sunday today it is a super gloomy and rainy day so I thought it would be perfect to start off with my pantry clean out this morning I'm honestly embarrassed to show you guys what my pantry looks like right now 
I feel like I never let it get to this point, but here we are. It is an organized mess. I kind of just shove things everywhere, but it needs a clean out. And this time we're gonna keep it clean. So let me show you what we're working with. You could see I kind of have like the organization bins and things, but things are just thrown in there. I love these baskets, which I picked up last year when I kind of bought everything for the pantry. Just got those from HomeSense and I keep my paper towels and then my drinks in the other one. Um, I also got these baskets from HomeSense. One has like bottles, one has medicine. So I need to go through all of that. I keep the appliances up top and then the bag disaster. So I definitely need to go through all of this and I think I'm gonna take everything out, wipe everything down and then throw out what I don't need. Okay guys, it is looking so much better. Let me kind of show you how I organized it. Definitely a good refresh, I needed that. Um, so up here I put some like glass empty jars that I had. In that basket I have like all my blender and its attachments. Here is basically all of the snacks and baking stuff, which I got these from HomeSense. Honestly, everything I got here was from home sense even like this standing thing for the jar this onion basket and then same thing here home sense for these spinning ones and home sense they do baskets so well and affordable pricing okay so back to it snacks up here i did my pastas and then this is where i kind of keep my fruit and stuff furs and cans and then here i just kept my appliances just because i can't really put them in a basket because i need to reach for them organize my bags and then yeah medicine bottle stuff i put Bo's treats away which you saw i am feeling so much better about this thank you thanks cheers my first starbs of the day oh my goodness it's so good they made that, it so good eh that mocha my goodness, that mocha mixture on top is like a fluffy mousse. <laughs> it really is. That's a perfect description. It's a fluffy mousse. So we're gonna go back. I'm gonna make my, I'm gonna put away the groceries. Mike's gonna start the barbecue. We're having ribs tonight with asparagus and potatoes. And then I'm gonna make my dough for my bread. It has to sit overnight so I won't be able to actually make the bread until tomorrow but I am going to start that and then I want to pickle onions for the week and make hummus so a lot on the food prep for tonight but it's only 350 so lots of time and I'm watching the show on Amazon Prime but it's like peacock but I have like a 15 day free um, trial so I think it's called actually let me find it so I don't say the wrong name and the show is called apples never fall and so good so gonna watch an episode of, or two of that and then that'll be a wrap on the weekend okay guys it is bread making time I got all of my stuff here that I need and I have my bowl set on the scale. The bowl's a little bit too big for the scale, so I have to like lean over. But anyways, we're gonna start off with 375 grams of warm water. So I'm just gonna 
And then you need 100 grams of active starter. I'm gonna reset my scale and do 100 grams. And we're just gonna whisk this together. I got this on Amazon and it is so good for mixing the ingredients. And then we're gonna add in the bread flour, which you need about 500 grams of. And then 12 grams of salt. And then we're gonna mix this all together. And then I typically finish off with, with my hands just because it is a bit easier. I could take that off the scale. gonna plastic wrap it and then let it kind of just sit for like 30 minutes to an hour and in the meantime I'm gonna start pickling my red onion I'm gonna cook my kale for the week and be productive so I'm gonna let that sit going to just watch some youtube julia havens just posted a new vlog so i think i'm gonna sit down i've been in the kitchen since we got home from grocery shopping so i think i'm gonna just chill out watch julia's vlog and then eat and wind down for the night it's just like all the it's like when you do like the nails and the waxing oh. and the hair and all that you, it's almost too hard to do that like the day before but you get kind of have to i guess huh i know it is much later in the night it's literally 11 15 i told you it is a whole process but we're gonna shape this put it in the fridge and then i am done for the night guys so we are going to start so now you're basically just gonna like stretch it out this is so fluffy it's gonna be so good it's so light that is good enough and then I'm just gonna fold it like that and over and then upside down Okay guys, that is a wrap on this vlog. I hope you guys enjoyed it and we'll see you guys next week.